Here are the best new controller settings. It takes three seconds to drop a like and just subscribe. It's free, guys, so please do it. And I want you guys to use shotgun, assault rifle, consumable item, and consumable item, and utility. This is what is best in the pro comp scene, so definitely make sure to use this if you are in arena. Some useful settings before we get to the controller setting. If you turn sprint default on, it actually frees up your left stick or your sprint button, so you can use it for an edit or a different buy. Make sure you turn your auto open doors on, because then it just makes sure that if you ever fail an edit and it's a door, you'll just walk straight through it. And then something like auto pick up weapons You might want to turn this on Just so when you land on a gun And try and beat someone to it off the drop You'll actually just automatically swoop in and suck them up For the building tab All of these settings are actually super useful For just turn these on guys And they're super useful to you And if you didn't know this already Replays can actually make your game lag So I'd actually just recommend turning these all off And then what it does is it stops your console From recording your gameplay Which now I understand Will maybe get rid of some of your feedback If you wanted to look back at your gameplay However if you'll save FPS and it could make you perform better, so I'll turn it all off. Tap to search slash interact. Make sure you have this on, guys, because what this does is make sure that you only have to press X once, and then you can open a chest just like that, rather than having to hold it down, so it's a lot more efficient. Moving on to HUD scale, honestly, I recommend sticking at around 75%. I think that's what most pros seem to use it at. And for all of these, you pretty much want to leave them all on, because you don't want to be missing any data or key information while you're actually gaming, uh, such as FPS or whatever you need. In the volume tab, what I want you guys to be using for the pro competitive settings, is I want you guys to actually have around 75% for your voice chat, sound effects at 100% and main at 100%. What this is going to do is keep your main audio at 100%, which is obviously the most powerful. You need that. And then sound effects is the most vital, which is basically gun sounds, footsteps and everything. Keep that on 100% most important. And then voice chat basically is just your friend and you don't really need them to be as loud as the game and footsteps. Uh, so put them down to 75%. I believe that's the best. Something interesting to note though is actually the sound quality. You can actually change this to high or low. And I've tried this out and I actually personally haven't noticed a difference and having it on low I actually personally find does give you better performance it even says it in the settings um but basically you can't even hear a difference so you might as well rock it on low and get some more performance if you'd like to note down my uh, controller bind uh, settings you can do here all I have is pretty much left stick as my edit bind and what this allows me to do is keep my fingers on the analog sticks while moving around like an edit on the go without having to take my fingers off to press any button in terms of aiming down your sights on your gun I recommend 8% for both of them 8% is just a very solid aim it has very strong aim assist and is not too fast or slow. It's kind of the mid ground and I actually recommend it to a lot of players that are looking for the controller setting. I'll be honest, I've actually been using exponential over linear recently guys so if you'd like to try it out, uh, you can use exponential and note that down and use that. In terms of dead zones, I actually get a lot of uh, stick drift on my controller so I like to use 8% for both of these. I find that I get the best uh, results with that. And lastly foot controller, if you have it, what you want to do is turn this on and make sure your dead zones are both at 1%. It gives you the lowest input delay possible. Coming over to the controller settings, what you guys have mostly been waiting for. I'll start out on the edit hold time. You want to make sure you have this on the 0.1% uh, second because basically it's going to be the lowest uh, edit time that you could possibly have and it's the best. Vibrations is a bit of a tricky one. I actually personally like to have these off guys because what this does is it just distracts my fingers less when gaming and if you have your vibrations on what that's going to do is could disrupt your fingers and could put off your aim or something. So what I've been using recently and is actually the best I think for build mode is actually to have it on 2% and then edit mode I actually recommend having on around 2.1% and what these two are are basically multipliers of the look horizontal speed and what you want for this is to have it at a fairly mid-range ground at around 45 percent it's fairly mid-ground it's quite slow and it's not too fast uh, but then the multipliers make up for that so basically it's a lot faster when you build an edit and then you have a lot of good accuracy when you are actually looking around thank you guys for watching drop a like on the video subscribe if you found this was useful um and then make sure to go ahead and comment bananas if you made it all the way to the end of the video and i'm gonna be hearting as many comments as possible thanks for listening guys click this video up here on screen and i'll see you next time